Hi, I'm Bob with JD Squared. What I'd like to show you in this video is the hydraulic system of the Model 54 Bender. Starting at the pump, it's an AC unit that can be operated from 120 to 250 volts. It can be wired 50 or 60 hertz. It's, it's, a, it's actually a 60 hertz motor, but it works fine. We've got a, a large number of them, Europe, Australia, etc., and, and they run fine over there. So if you're over there, it's no problem. The computer system is also works on any voltage in the world from 110 to 250, so that's a non-issue. On the side of the computer, we have a switch that will turn the motor on and off, even though the computer remains on. This way you don't lose any of your settings. We also have a pendant that will control the double acting cylinder forward and retract. Um, so you can walk around and look at your tube and all, and you have a pretty good amount of, of uh, cord right there. Moving up to the cylinder, it's powered, we use 5,000 burst PSI hoses. The system is 3,000 PSI. This is just put in for a little extra reliability. At the cylinder deal, we use USA made cylinders in two inch, two and a half, and three inch. The standard machine comes with a three inch cylinder, and that's actually the power cylinder. Since the bender's rated to bend three inch tubing, we would need the large cylinder to generate that kind of torque. However, let's say you're bending inch and three quarter or two inch down, you might want to opt for the speed cylinder, which would be the two inch cylinder, and that will about double the speed of your bending, give you about anywhere from a nine to 11 second bend. This one here will run around 16 seconds per bend. There is a cylinder in the middle, it's a two and a half inch version, a little bit rarer. And like I say, it's a double acting cylinder, so when you're operating the bender, you would turn it on, press the button, and you'll see the cylinder, you'll just actually see it rotating, and then when you're done, you would retract it back, and then turn off the motor so you can hear yourself think. Anyway, that's really all there is to the hydraulic system. Other videos will talk about other subcomponents of the machine. Please check them out and thank you for viewing.